All right, let's go again here at Quarry. Let's check the cafe first. It's a new day. Uh, Grayling order. One from 1 1.9. I mean, that's we only got 30 hours left, but that's possible. We're not going to hit that Lake Trout or Savan order, I don't think. I guess we keep an eye on the Vendus order. Um, lots of good comments and feedback after this video, and I appreciate that very much. Thank you all for all of the feedback. And um, I can tell I need to turn the boat sound down again. It's a little late in the day, but we should be able to catch a few fish here. Hopefully, I remember that we're trying this um, this new lure, the Heaven Creek Elegant Spin, and uh, the whole reason why I put that on there was because we saw by checking the weekly that a quarry char had uh, had gotten on there. I actually want to put back on the Aquila seven gram. I do want to try the smaller. Achilles as well, the four grams, uh, maybe get one or two of those, but uh, let's see how this goes. Let's get some trolling in, and uh, one of the helpful comments, and I'll probably go over comments once we have a moment to, uh, maybe when we get through with this evening of trolling, I'll go over some of the feedback you all have left on the last couple videos but uh, one of them mentioned that at least around a week ago folks were catching rough from the key casting towards the island so might give that a try and could have still have one set up with night crawlers to see if burbot bite and then another thing i want to do sometime soon we probably won't do it this night but i want to see if any burbot are coming on in the 15 meter hole i know in the Two or three weeks ago, they were biting there decently. I tried it on my main account a little bit, but uh, nothing spectacular. But it'd be nice to at least catch a couple of them. They're pretty good silver. So, we may try that. All right, there's a fish. It's got a little bulk to it. lake trout so the first fish we caught on this new elegant lure was a lake trout kind of want to watch that lure to see how it does and at least bite rate seemed like last episode that very basic lure was doing about as good as anything but it is a new day so you never know and I don't even have that one on I was going back, I watched the beginning of the last video and was sort of, I noticed that even though the bite rate might not have been quite as high, it seemed like we might have been catching a little higher quality fish on the uh, Aquila 7 gram spinners. And so I thought well, I would start off with at least one of those on and try this new spinner that we got. I would just love to... Um, to get a little quarry char, a small marker quarry char maybe, would be pretty awesome.
might be a little vendous. Seems to me that this whole area here between the island and the and the dock is where you see a lot of uh oh we can now fish with a spoon are we already at 15 percent that's amazing that's great Well, we're definitely getting decent bite rate on this lure, but everything is small. So far, everything is small, and the bite rate on these Achillas right now are just atrocious. I don't know why that is. We might need to try the four gram. There we go. That might be a marker. Yeah. It is so fun. If you don't have these spinner baits too far away, you can see, that's a grayling, it's a nice grayling. You can see when the fish comes to hit it. So cool. Actually really, it's another nice grayling. I actually really like this, it's very fun. Decent one, I think, just barely a marker, maybe? Nope, just under a marker. But this is pretty cool. I think this is uh, much more entertaining for me to be able to see when the fish hit the line. So normally, if you have your, your rod, um, you have your lure cast out pretty far, or if you're using something that sinks to the bottom, you can't really see if a fish is on there all the time. So you're looking at your rod to see if there's any, any movement. But this way, I mean, I can see that lure. So if a fish hits it, I will know. This one got a little too far away, but there we go. Now we can see it. We'll be able to see the fish if it hits it. Boom. I mean, that's just cool to me. 
See that fish run up and, and snag it. There goes another one. Perch. Got two little fish on, don't we? Must be Vendus time. I love it. I wish more of these were markers, but it is super fun. What was the grayling order? Did they have to be like almost two kilos? Is that right? Savan. So light it just pops up out of the water sometimes. Boom. That's a decent one. Not too big where we can't pull it straight in, but it's got a little size to it. We're going 
get piked over here if we're not careful. So what do we end up with? Nine markers out of 28 fish. be 16 and a half before you know it all right so let's go ahead and um, get set up here we won't we go ahead and get these two guys out We're, we want to test this and I'm again we'll go over the comments here in a section but in a sec in a second uh, what size hook do we want maybe like we really want small I mean I think the idea here is that um god we're just out of out of ground bait um the idea here is that there's rough let's go let's go 20 meters out and see if that is far enough to catch anything it might need to be 25 i'm not sure We've got roach ground bait on one. And crucian gibble ground bait on the other. The other thing we want to do is take off the Adriatica and put it on the Percy. And what's it clipped at? We'll go 20 on this too. Let's just try 20 tonight. All right. Let's double check those cafe orders. We can now use spoons. So it may be worth purchasing a couple of, uh... <coughs> oh, excuse me. Goodness, so sorry. A couple of hunters. Let's just see if, um, let's just see how, like, what was that about? Seven guy hours of in game fishing, something like that. 18 minutes, real lifetime, about 49 silver. So it's not bad. I mean, we're going to definitely, even when we're not, even when we're not getting a ton of markers, easily getting over 100 silver a day trolling which is just, it's gonna be consistent and then occasionally we'll, we'll hit it really big. All right, so this is, um, we hope, our first burbot. That's what we're really hoping for here. It's not though, it's a perch. That is too bad. Still looks like this might not be an active burbot spot just yet and then no rough yet either we'll give them a little bit more time and then i might recast them a little farther out might just do full cast towards the island to be honest um okay so i know i know that they're expensive here first of all let's just see like what they have The hunter ones we want 
So the two, really the three best ones are out of stock. We're gonna have to go around and check other places. It's worth it to get those, to be honest. So I think what we may need to do is have a, uh, now there are other spoons we could get just to try some spoons um, and some cheaper ones that we could try. Hypnotics can be pretty good. Uh, this was a good nighttime hypnotic. Hypnotics were the hunters before the hunters came out. I'd be curious to try this orange, see if you get a something interesting. The Satori's are good. Um, this one is really good. This one can be good too, though. Uh, this one is good. I think these, I think these Volkov lures are pretty good from what I've seen. I'm just not catching anything. All right, let's recast the, um, the rough ones. Oh, there is something on here that swam with it. All right, let's see what this is. Yeah, that's a rough. All right, cool. That's what we want to see. Oh, nothing on that one. I think I'm going to take a clip off, especially on this one, and just full cast it out there towards the burbot and hope for the best. So that was 35 meter, if anybody wants to know, 35 meter clip. Um, okay, let's check the weeklies. The weeklies have had a chance to to settle a little bit. Um, so anything interesting? Yeah, Hunter 2, Hunter 3. There's not gonna be anything that's like, it's just all the usual. I mean, that's just what people use, it's just, it's partly because they're the best, partly because that's what everybody uses. Natura 8000. I don't know what that is. It's a little bream. Vendus. All right, let me look at some of the messages here because somebody specifically, I think it was, A couple weeks ago, there's a really high bite rate for rough from the point next to the quay. Worms or maggots casting the island. Ten meter. Okay, he's also saying in the 10 meter, 15 meter hole, there's bream for night crawlers. Not sure if those are still active. Hmm. Yeah, I'm not sure either. I'm not sure either, to be honest. Although one thing we could do since we're not catching burbot at all is we could put ground bait on this 
with the night crawlers. The burbot will still occasionally bite it, and also we might see if there are bream. The bream like that ground bait. It's a pretty large hook for bream, but it is what it is. So I don't know where, I don't know if we want to, like, let's see on ultralight. Type 5, 3 gram, 8. Type 5, 3 gram, 3. Is that the Volkov lures? Okay, well we've got a couple spoons we can try. That'll be exciting. I don't feel like we've quite figured out a good spot to feed our fish though. I guess we need to, I mean we did catch a couple rough. I probably should have, or we caught one I guess. I probably should have tried casting farther for the rough. Um, let's do that real quick. We've still got like an hour. See if we get a little quick bite. If we throw it maybe 30 meters or something. I don't know how far we can throw on this. We won't quite hit 30, I bet, on this, on this rig. But probably like 28 or something. But let's just see if that's any more active out there. And then maybe the next night, next time we do an episode that we're fishing here at least, we'll try from the island to see if we can get a burbot. But I don't know if there's much else we can fish for from the island. Um, all right, so we want to try these. Did I get the wrong ones? Three gram O three. Three gram O eight. No, those are right. Okay, good. All right, what was that nibble on? What is this? Must be a bream or something. It's a perch. I mean, a, yeah, perch. Yeah, I don't know. we could try feeder fishing for um, char if if that stuff's even in in stock uh, it's often sold out here because it's so popular for char fishing 
but I bet we could find it somewhere. What are they called? Mayfly larva. Oh, they, no. Well, you can get 300 of them for 142 silver. But you might be able to find those somewhere else. Those are good for feeder fishing for char, though. And sometimes you'll get lake trout and stuff. I just feel like overall, it's recently at least, it seems like it's been pretty slow. So I don't know that it'd be any better right now. Okay, so a little longer cast and... We at least caught something. Might be another Vendus or Perch, but... Actually, it does look like a rough, doesn't it? Yeah. Another marker rough. That's nice. Now, maybe we just weren't f casting quite far enough for those. Let's do a little more trolling. So we have spoons on now. Two different spoons. They're both Volkov spoons. Good small spoons for ultralight fishing, but We'll have to plan a trip back to Old Bird or Mosquito or something here soon and see if we can't um, find those hunters we want. But let's see what the bite rate's like on these guys. this is where we start putting points into fishing with a spinning rod have a little more control to fish um, okay let's see let's go out this way that way I can read other recent comments who was that that was telling me about the so that was uh <laughs> he's got such a long name crudely painted not so funny plywood goes on and on uh thanks for the info on that spot uh jessica tim mentioned i find a lot of one to three and a half kilo burbots in the unmarked little hole between 12 meter and three mi mi meter oh okay interesting and that's using a jigs, crawlers, or even spoons. So talking about spin fishing for burbot, that's cool. Um, Flaming Ember Seal says, I don't have a problem catching fish. I have a problem always getting spooled. Or the game bugs out because the line is so far out. It gets disheartening. At quarry, I always get a pike that bites off my lures. Happens every time and it gets expensive. You could definitely avoid the pike pretty well. Oh, that was a good fish that just got on there, on the other one. I don't know if we're going to have to... No, nah, we don't have to move the boat. We got it. I think that's an arctic, right? Yes, that's what we want. 2,600 experience. Oh, another fish. All right, we got... A little later in the morning and all of a sudden these Volkov spoons are coming alive, aren't they? We might be onto something. Nice lake trout. There's another one. Boom. Flaming Ember also goes on to say, 
This reminds me, does anyone know if they're adding on an auction house or trading to the game soon? I don't know about soon. I think they are reportedly working on an auction house for the game. They've been talking about that for a long time, wanting to add that feature. Uh, Rusty says, awesome video. I saw myself in it. Keep it up. <laughs> Thanks, Rusty. I appreciate it. I'm liking these Volkov spoons so far. That's weird. Every time we set it in there, it's jerking those spoons back at us. Uh, Fortley says, loved it. Thank you, Fortley. Oh, here's a good question. Uh, Ray Sin says, should I go trolling at Quarry Lake or keep doing bottom fishing at Old Bird? Love the video, by the way. So let's assume that, let's assume that Ray Sin is similar level to we are, has opened up Quarry, and is wanting to know if it's worth it to go trolling at Quarry or just keep bottom fishing at Old Bird and other places and I would say that's gonna be up to you remember that it took me about 1500 silver to start trolling here in a somewhat safe manner and even still I'm under geared for it we're just kinda making the best of it and hoping we don't run into too many disasters but so kinda keep that in mind you gotta save up some silver first but if this looks fun to you, if you want to get more into spin fishing, then absolutely do this. And you'll, as you get better gear, you'll also be able to kind of transition into spin fishing or bait casting slash trolling at Volkov as well, which will be one of the next one of the next places we open up after Bear. But I will say, I love bottom feeder fishing in this game and if you want to just keep plugging away and s spend that money on carp you know start getting your carp set up so you can go to bear with a little more strength in your gear I think that makes sense too um, I haven't ever done one of these leveling series where I've made it all the way to Cory and actually done this so I wanted to do this this time because it's just one of the things that people often ask for, and I just usually stop the series either before Cory or I'm so focused on bottom fishing that I just don't ever come to Cory and, and do the trolling thing. So it was kind of a goal of mine to do this if we made it far enough. But um, it is an overcast day, so this dark one kind of makes sense. But I don't, I don't, I definitely don't think you have to do this. Let's try this one on an overcast day. So we're gonna compare the Aquila seven gram. I guess we should have looked at the four gram. Maybe we can swing by the dock here and do that. We're gonna compare the Aquila seven gram spinner to the Volkov. Is it three gram? I can tell you in just a second spoon the Volkov spoon yeah it's a three gram I kind of feel like this seven gram Aquila unless Corey is just on fire and you're just getting lots of bites I feel like maybe it's a little big you know It's just an impression I have. So if it was me, if this was my main account, for now, I think I'd put points in spin fishing. 
But once I got into my 20s and I, just, and I reset the points, which you have one free reset, if I can afford some casting setups, I would probably get away from spinning rods and go to casting rods. I like bait castings a lot. All right, this is on the uh, Aquila. It's a little pike, isn't it? So someone is asking, can I use a 14 and a half kilo reel on a 14 kilo rod? What's the worst that could happen? Well, breaking your rod is what would, is what would happen. Uh, and, and, and that is a good follow-up question. What if my line is weaker than 14? And yes, that would probably limit your exposure to breaking your rod, but I still think it's too risky because basically any pressure that your reel is feeling, your rod's gonna take more pressure than it can take if your reel is feeling the maximum pressure it can take. I just wanted to get one more uh, spinner. We're not gonna get more than one, but if they have some in the four gram, Aquila, like, we'll try the five, since we don't have the five in the seven gram. All right, so we've got the Volkov three gram and the Aquila four gram on. Let's see who wins. Is that an Eid? Nice. Sun's coming out a little bit. At least those Vendices, some of those are markers.
They both have small fish on them. Very small fish. I saw that. Is that a grayling? All right. Yeah, we're at 59 fish. Most of them trolling. Just in terms of bite rate, both of these have done really well. We have not hit it big on any of the money fish today. We're kind of grinding our way. Uh, what do we unlock next? Jigging. really sunny right now let's put that um, that elegant spin back on there boom sometimes you need to change lures you know weather changes time changes just keep it going
looks cool the way it goes in the water. Looks cool, but we haven't caught much on it, have we? It doesn't make sense that this lure would be that good right now, but let's throw it in. that time of day that gets slow. So, I'm pretty sure no orders. Let's see how we did, though. Eighty-eight. Yeah, the second half of the day was not very good. All right, so I think our next goal is to... Go get a couple of those hunter lures if we can run them down, if they're in stock anywhere. That way we'll just have more things to cycle through to try to find the hot lure when we're out there trolling. But I'm definitely enjoying this. I think it's, uh, it is worth doing and uh, we may check some bottom fishing spots occasionally. But for now, I think primarily we'll just do spinning at spinning at Corey just so we can kind of really try to get a grasp on it good all right as always thanks for watching